Hey guys, it's Robbie Kim, and today I'm gonna be reading the 29th episode, of, I mean 28th episode of uh, Captain Tsubasa. And I apologize for not having a live reaction ready because I was recording a live reaction for Golden Kamui, and I was like, eh, I didn't react too much to that, so I scrapped that. Then I recorded a Golden Kamui review, and that went well. Then I recorded a live reaction to the Tokyo Ghoul Re season premiere for its um, season 4 Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, that was a reaction that must have got me reacting so I actually did use that and that's currently uploading right now and then I made a Tokyo Ghoul season 4 episode in review and I recorded that and I'm also going to upload that later today so by the time I went to the Captain Tsubasa live reaction I was like 12, episodes, 12 minutes in and I was like yeah thinking in the back of my head I'm going to definitely use the reaction but then my camera ran out of power so I had to charge it up and well I can't just make another Captain Tsubasa reaction unless because then I have to fake it because my original reaction, which was 12 minutes, I don't like to have it separate. I like to upload it on like a single cut if possible. And that just won't be possible, sadly. So next week, if crazy stuff happen, I'll upload a live reaction. Just thought I'd let you guys know. But on to the review. This episode was fucking amazing. Just the emotion that I felt when Roberto Hongo left. And he pretty much um, mentioned the reason why he didn't want to take Tsubasa was because he didn't want to separate a family. But at the same time, he kind of referred to himself as a loser. That was kind of sad. And I was like, damn. In the back of my mind, I was thinking, you can't be a loser if you made the national team um, for your um, team. So I was like, wow. So that got me in the feels. And then when Masaki left, that also hit me in the emotional department too because... Even though they were coming off a win, just seeing Masaki happy, yet a little sad at the same time, it made it the sequence felt bittersweet. Then you have everyone signing the football, Wakabashi, and then Tsubasa signs it at the end, and then he kicks it to Masaki, and then he writes down, let's show each other again in the national team. I was like, wow, that, that, that got me a lot, that scene. I was like, fuck. And that scene was really relatable too, because as... As anyone grows up, you're going to say goodbye to friends, you're going to move away. So that sequence right there, it, it was really touching. And it, and it gave this episode much more life. And, it, and that was a beautiful send-off towards Masaki. Seriously. And then it was nice to see how um, Tsubasa's goals and his actions impacted other people. Because when Wakabashi is all like, I kind of got the idea to go to Germany because if you want to go to Brazil... Because it wasn't just that, it was because um, um, Makabashi's coach wanted to go to Germany to observe German football in order to help out Japanese football. So that was also another cool scene too, having to see Wakabashi has his own goals and he wants to become good enough so that he can help out Japanese football. And then when he told Sabasa that, let's join each other again in the national team, that also got me too. I was like, damn. Just so many good scenes in these last few episodes. It was like, seriously. And it's also a good setup too, because if they inevitably ever play with each other in either the Olympics or the World Cup, at least Japan's going to have a stacked up football team because you got Wakabashi learning football in Japan. You got Hugo going to Toho Academy. You just got all these things being set up and it's just so nice. And then it was nice to see the emotional distress that Tsubasa was in. Him feeling sad. Him screaming, why'd you leave me, Roberto, while crying. It, it, was, it was depressing just seeing that scene. And it was nice to see the Hayatsu compose something beautiful, even in the sad sequences. Because this was the first time where he got to flex the feel OSTs. Like he got to flex his musical muscles in this episode. And that was really nice. Showing that he has a great degree of competence that that he didn't show in the first few episodes, but now he's showing his musical voice, and I really appreciate that. Animation in this episode was pretty good too. Especially in the sequence where Subasa and Wakabashi were like doing like this little spot before Wakabashi left for Subasa tried to score a goal and he almost scored, but then Wakabashi's like I, that was just through I only blocked that through luck because I happened to jump into that direction. I like that. Because these two leave with newfound respect. 
And then it was nice that we got to see a time skip how Tsubasa won multiple times in the junior high ch championships. He won back to back twice. And they're going for the third consecutive win. And that was some nice setup sort because then we got Hyuga and Toa Academy playing. And then looks like Wakashimaz is there. And then when Suwada joins and he's like, we've only got all the members we need to try to beat Tsubasa. That's a good way to build up their match between Tsubasa, Nakatsuki Junior High, and then Hyuga Stoho Academy schools. So that was nice. It's setting up a lot of interesting confrontations. You know, and it was nice to see how some other Nakasu SC members join Subasa's academy, and then others join a different academy. So that was also cool, and I like all this setup. And for all these reasons, oh, and this episode even gave us some character development for Hyuga, because when he found out that he was going to be accepted in Toho Academy as like their main striker, that was a beautiful scene when he was all happy, and he looked like a child there. Uh, with his facial expressions. It looks soft. It felt good to see a different layer on Hugo's character. To see that kind of happiness. And that was great because he really earned it. All that struggling finally paying off. And it was nice to even get to see that. Yeah, he actually would have been willing to um, play with Subasa As Subasa with the main playmaker. If he would have joined Toho Academy. That was also nice to see. Showing Hugo's um, maturing before our eyes. And he was really a highlight in this arc, too. And taking all this into consideration, I'm going to rate this episode a 9 out of 10. Great music, good animation. You at least had Alberto Hong leave the book behind on some of the advanced football tactics and skills that Sebastian can read up on, too. So that was also a nice thing to see. And just all these elements made this episode really stand out. And it was a great way to end the arc. And I cannot wait to see what Captain Boss is going to bring us. So anyways, guys. For manga fans, comment down your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section. For anime only, how do you feel about this episode? And for anyone else, subscribe, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Because, man, this show keeps on giving. Alright, guys. Bye-bye.